Hello, my name is Dr. Bijoy Balakrishnan. I am the lead consultant of fetal medicine in Saimar Cochin Hospital. I am going to talk to you about a topic that is a bit emotional and very close to my heart. And that is why do babies die? It is difficult as a clinician when you have a mother under your care and then towards the 7th or 8th month unexpectedly the baby dies. And that is a failure. And that is a failure for us as obstetricians as fetal medicine consultants and it's a huge loss for the couple that has to face with the unexpected loss of their baby that was they were waiting for and i know the reactions are going to be very varied and difficult right from being angry angry at at the obstetrician angry at the people around you and that anger sometimes is directed to us and the saddest part is when we confront that loss we are angry too angry at ourselves, angry as to why this baby died and the saddest part is 40 to 50 percent of these babies die without any known cause. And even though science does have answers to most of the questions, the biggest question that remains unanswered is why 40 percent of normal growing babies die during the seventh or eighth month of pregnancy. And when we do a scan and when we find that the baby's heart is stopped, and when we convey that message to the parents, it's almost unbelievable for them. They, they cannot understand that the heartbeat has stopped. I have, I have spent minutes and hours trying to convince them that first that the baby has, is no more and the baby's heart has stopped. And from there starts our journey of trying to find out why this baby's heart stopped and to prevent that from happening in the next pregnancy. And that is why it is important to understand from failures that whenever we are confronted with such a failure or loss, the easiest thing is to give up and lash out at the people who are trying to help you. But the most important point here is to try to understand that the people who are taking care of you are equally devastated by that loss. And whenever you have a fetal loss, the most important thing is to find out why that baby died. And for that, we have to run a series of tests. The tests may include maternal blood tests, more uh, detailed evaluation of the baby and even sometimes a post-mortem autopsy to find out why the baby died. Although most of the times we might not have an answer as to why the baby died, it does tell us that in the next pregnancy, that is the pregnancy that you are going to come up again with these same problems or may, maybe not, we have to be more careful. We have to be more careful in the sense that we have to run more tests and probably we have to put in more medications to prevent this from happening. But when it happens for the first time, we are as unprepared as the patient and the couple. So when you are confronted with a fetal loss, I can understand that you are all going to be uh, angry and depressed. But instead of lashing out against the people who are trying to help you, work with them. Work with them because they are also trying to prevent this from happening again. They want to help you and they want to help you prevent this and that's where a fetal medicine specialist comes in. A fetal medicine specialist will help you to find out that answer as to why your baby died and will help you to have that beautiful pregnancy that you were always waiting for and that baby is just around the corner. Thank you. Thank you for listening.